So we're actually gonna be making something today. I haven't done this for, for a while since, um, like especially by myself. <laughs> but um, we're actually gonna be making no bake stuff. Um, that's the first thing. Um, and it's obviously gonna be healthy. I've been trying my best to eat healthy. It's just so hard to eat healthy when you have someone else, two other people in the house that eat unhealthy. Like not like an unhealthy healthy, but unhealthier than what you're trying to eat. Like. Um, like Lexa, she eats normal, like normal food, like she's chicken nuggets. Sometimes she eats healthy with me. Like she does eat things I eat sometimes, but not all the time. And I don't expect her to, like all the time. Um, so she's a kid and I want her to explore, um, all different kinds of food and all different kinds of, um, all different kinds of things, you know what I'm saying? You know, because she can like different, um, a variety of food. Like Lexa loves seafood, um, but I do not like seafood. Um, Joey likes seafood, which is good. So that's a little healthier. So she does eat that. Um, but she does like chicken nuggets and fries, so we do have a little bit of stuff like that, and that, you know, that, that kind of teases me a lot to encourage me to eat it, because I really like that too, obviously, but obviously I'm trying not to eat that, but, um, we don't fry any of our food, we mostly either, if we do, we either put it in our air, we have an air fryer, or we usually put it in the oven, I do not fry any of Lex's food, that is unlimited here in this house, we do not fry anything, but, um, we don't even have a flyer, so <laughs> we can't fly really anything. But anyway, um, we're gonna make some no-bake um, snacks because I am starving right now. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna try to make. This is my first time making any of this stuff, so we're gonna kind of play around with the recipe a little bit and see what we can do um, to make some good um, granola bars. So first things first is um, I gotta find the ingredients. So let's um, make sure I have all the ingredients and all that kind of fun stuff, and we'll get started. I'm going to try my best to show you everything I'm doing here, but we have our, our blender, so um, we don't have peanut butter, and that's a big problem, but we're going to try to make the best without peanut butter, hopefully, we're going to see what we can do, so I don't know how it's going to turn out, because usually when you make it, it happens with peanut butter, so we're going to see what happens. So, first thing first is we're going to mix up our a dry ingredient, so we have um, vanilla, you can get any kind of vanilla that you guys eat, obviously, but... I'm using this kind, um, my favorite kind of granola. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna blend it up. Mommy, God. Okay, right, and I, about, I put like about a half a cup of that, and then the rest is filled up with like, um, mostly oil. the rest with um, oatmeal. So we got oatmeal here, we're gonna fill up. And I put one fourth cup, put like three of those in. Um, yeah. So I put three one fourth cups in, okay? All right, and um, now we're gonna blend that up. It's gonna get loud, y'all. Mm. It's gonna get loud. I'll probably edit that up. I
that. It should look like that. It does not have to be perfect, but it should look like a powder or something, kind of. Okay. Now, we get a bowl. We're just going to small it. I have no idea what this is playing in the background, but alright. So we have a powder for some substance here. We're going to pour that in here. And then we're going to say powder. Alright, now we're going to put our wet ingredients all together. So what we have for wet ingredients, we have a little bit of raisins, we have some vanilla extract and some chocolate chips. This is dark chocolate chips. So we're going to put this all in. Hope this works out guys, because we don't have peanut butter, you need peanut butter goes in there with it. So I just put like a little bit of chocolate chips, not much chocolate chips. So, And then we're going to put some raisins. This is where raisins come in handy. I'm hoping it uh, makes it a little liquidy. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know what raisins do. Let me put them in the blender. So we're going to find out. Uh, we're going to fill this up with raisins. Lots and lots of raisins. And I'm actually going to put like one more handful of chocolate chips in. Alright, and that should do it. And I'm going to put a little bit of vanilla uh, extract. A little bit of vanilla in there. Then we're going to blend it up. I should have done it the other way, but I might have to do it the other way. That's what it's looking like. Alright, so now we have some little like chocolate bites in here. Too much. Alright, so this is what it's looking like. Wish I had some peanut butter. I'm still wishing I had peanut butter, guys. I even wish it wasn't bad that I had peanut butter. Alright, now we're gonna make some more liquidy stuff. Um, we won't have to do this, but we don't. It's all nice and melted and liquidy, so now we're going to put it in here. Mix it all around. Usually I'll be cooking out on the stove, but it didn't happen this time. I really wish I had peanut butter. 
Right, this is what it looks like. Now, we'll come over here. I might have to add a little bit more oatmeal to this or something. They look a little, um, too much chocolate. So we're actually gonna add, um, a little bit more oatmeal, I think. This is the recipe that we're playing around with. This is my first time making this. You guys come along with me to help me make this my first time. All right. Coming over here. Now we have our um, our sheet here laid down. I hope you guys can see that. That's what I'm telling you. But we're gonna um we're gonna lay the um the stuff on the paper. Turn you guys out this way. Alright, here's my paper. I'm just gonna lay the stuff on the paper or just spread it out on the table. You need to use your hands, mom's again just clean, you know. So I'm just gonna use my hands. Tap it out a little bit. All right, to make um, like a rectangle shape. Yeah, I don't want them too um thick, or I don't want them too um thin. Um, because they're gonna be bars, so you obviously don't want them too thick or thin. Just put them perfectly. Yeah, and just make sure you tap in the middle, because that's the thickest part usually. Make sure you spread that middle out to the ends. So you don't want your ends to be thick. hot so um now basically you just gotta wait till it dries and cools off and then you can cut it into um bars pretty much so yeah. what you want to do is go into yeah. the pool then we'll come yeah. back and i'll show you guys what it looks like but this is what it looks like right now looks kind of like a brownie <laughs> bar so yeah so we'll be back when it gets cold and we'll cut it and we'll see how it is so we got our bar here and it's getting hard it's doing really really good but i am actually before it gets too hard i actually want to put a little bit more canola and maybe some oatmeal or something in it just because i don't know it just seems like too much chocolate i don't know what to deal with with the chocolate but i just don't like all the chocolate so i'm just going to try my best to put more like canola big pieces in here spread them all out Kind of tear them up a little bit. Alright, I'm just gonna smush them in the bar. You can. The really good thing about this stuff, it has like um, strawberries and stuff in it. So, my um, canola that I have here. Um,
Alright, just hopefully it stays because like I said it's hard. Um, the bar is starting to get really, really hard. Alright, so. Alright, so now we have our granola stuff on top. Like I said, you guys can see like the strawberries and stuff in it. I'll show you. Oh, there it is. It's like um, big old dark chocolate pieces. And then those little strawberries. Um, that comes in it. And I absolutely love those strawberries. I actually have some. I get like a big old package like this. Like a big old package. And then inside only comes in like little baby packages. Which is so cute. I've been eating these a lot too. I always got these. These are my favorite. I eat these a lot. Like only, I only eat like one a day. Like I only eat one snack a day. Um, everything else is like um, regular food. Like I eat. Uh, sometimes I have rice which is really rare. Sometimes I have that. Um, I know I have chicken a lot. Um, I'm trying to think what I ate yesterday. Um, I had chicken. I know I have a lot of chicken. It's part of how much chicken I eat. Um, what was with that? Um, chicken and um, something. I don't know. How can I not think what I ate yesterday? I was really close. But I know I had some chicken. I always eat chicken. Chicken and um, some kind of vegetable. It was chicken and, um, oh, cabbage. Yeah, it was chicken, cabbage, and green peppers. Cute. Yeah, that's what I usually put it in the frying pan here. Um, I cook it all up together, and it tastes absolutely amazing. If you guys haven't tried it, make sure you guys try that out. But it's cabbage, chicken, and peppers, and I put it, mix it all in, and it is absolutely really, really good. So I've been eating that a lot, um, mostly for um, lunch and stuff like that. Um, usually for breakfast, if I do eat, I usually eat eggs. Sometimes I even eat eggs like around this time. Um, because eggs is really, really good to you. Good protein. Um, yeah, so that's what I usually eat. That's why I wanted peanut butter um, bars. And if I do make the peanut butter bars, I'll show you guys. Um, I'll show you guys the both of the recipes. But right now we don't have peanut butter. But I have like two, three different bars that we usually make. I actually have some in here right now. Um, it's almost like a chocolate bar. It's almost like this, but it's not a bar. Um, it's like little cookies. Um, it's called um, No Big um, Cookies. No big healthy cookies. They're um, they're really really good too. Um, but sometimes I eat those. Um, but yeah, I want to show you guys the peanut butter ones. So we have the peanut butter. They're like little round um, circle things. They're really really good. So I want to um, try those. And then I also want to try um, to make a bar like this, but with the peanut butter instead of the chocolate. I thought I had peanut butter. I was gonna make it today, but that ended up not happening. So we just made a different one. Um, I seen this one online too. But it just had chocolate and had raisins and stuff in it, so we were gonna try it out. So I was like, okay, let's just try it. But yeah, we're gonna try it right now. So let's give it a try, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna take a little bite here off the side. I do want it to like um, get a little bit harder though. I'm gonna try. You wanna try it too? Yeah. Okay. But like I said, I don't eat this all the time. Like, you know how you need a little sweet snack, healthy snack? Because that happens a lot with me. You know, you need something to keep you going, you know. I actually love how hard this is actually getting. It's absolutely amazing. It actually almost looks like a brownie or like fudge, kind of. That's exactly what it's reminding me of as I'm cutting here. But it looks like brownie or fudge. It looks absolutely it's really, really good. So. But, well, I'm probably not going to eat this bigger piece, but I don't think I'd like to do half of this piece right here. There we go. Alright, so let's try this. It looks good. Tastes like dark chocolate. Like mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's really rich. And that's the other thing I was going to have a problem with. Hey. Um. Mm. Mm. That's definitely getting the one I have a problem with. It's good. But the reason why I wanted some um, peanut butter because I'm not a big fan of all this dark chocolate and chocolate and stuff. So mm. the peanut butter would have settled this down a lot if we had some. Mm. Mm. They're still really, really good. I 
Alright, well, that's basically it for today's video. It turned out really, really good. We're gonna let it harden up a little bit more, but this is really good. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to be able to because we do have some more fun and exciting stuff coming up. My birthday is coming up, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and see what we're doing. Yeah. Um, not on my birthday, but we're gonna do something after my birthday. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys see what we're doing. Also, the car show is coming up that we all go, always go to in July. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. That we all will be going to there. Um, there's a lot of other fun events that we're gonna be coming going to soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys back here next time. Bye. Bye. Boom, boom, boom. boom.